To Splendora now, the small Montgomery town has seen an increase in drugs and people being smuggled through the area over the last two years. And the police chief is concerned about immigrants connected to human smuggling investigations being released without more federal oversight. KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold spent the day in Splendora trying to get to the bottom of what's happening with these cases. The chief's concerns are specific to instances where his officers pull over the driver of a car suspected of human trafficking. However, he says when his officers contact immigration and customs enforcement to ask how the passengers should be handled, he says they've been told to release them. And from here, it's about a six mile uh, trip up north. Lieutenant Troy Teller takes us along the stretch of Highway 59 that runs through Splendora. Well, we've seen an uptick of human trafficking over the last two years. Um, narcotics. In just last week, officers stopped the driver of this SUV. Crammed inside were a dozen men, women, and children. Police say all told officers they paid smugglers to get them into the U.S. This last group was being delivered to three different states. Uh, it was learned that uh, there was human trafficking uh, obviously going on. The driver was arrested on drug charges, but Weehot says when his officers called ICE about the passengers, they were told if they didn't have outstanding warrants or a prior immigration hold, then release them. We carried them to the Walmart where there's food, water, phones, and stuff like that. All of them said they had uh, numbers they could contact and people to come get them. And the chief says this is not the first time. I'd like to see some type of federal oversight where we could carry them to Conroe and at least have them processed, at least have them identified. It's not unusual for immigrants accused of being in the country illegally to be released from custody after they've been processed by federal agents and assigned an immigration court date. However, Weehot says his officers can only check fingerprints to make sure no one has warrants for their arrest. We have no way of keeping records track and we have no way of verifying the information they're even giving us is, is accurate. When we contacted ICE about Splendora's concerns, we were told that detention is made on a case-by-case -case basis. They also said they will be reaching out to Splendora to make sure that it has contact information to access more direct support in the future and they will be reviewing what happened last week to make sure there are no gaps in communication going forward. You can read the full statement on click2houston.com. Reporting from Splendora, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.